This was not easy at all. We're fighting a battle globally that is ultimately testing our capability. It's really not about chasing a singular magical secret. Change is, uh, is, is necessary. The mission is to design, develop, architect a new EV platform to build affordable vehicles for Ford Motor Company. We had involvement with both product and manufacturing. Bringing us together to optimize every system, every component, every part with this one end goal. And that's the motivation that drives everyone. Backs against the wall and you got to make it happen. And it became very clear that there's no silver bullet really. That's kind of where we started to figure out, hey, maybe we could actually build the vehicle differently. Traditionally, all the way back to the Model T, vehicles are built on an assembly line. And it's one straight line. And you just bring all the parts to the car and the line continues to move. Been around assembly lines for 21 years and they're built the exact same way and the same problems are always there. Um, for me, <laughs> wiring is always this nemesis. And if you don't change that input, then nothing else is ever going to change. There were tons of doubts. Teams would come back and say, well, you're gonna fail here, you're gonna fail there, you're gonna fail here. We came up with the Ford Universal EV production system. So it's more of a tree formation. So breaking up the vehicle into three different sub-assembly lines in parallel. And what that's actually doing is shrinking the overall time to go from start to finish with fewer stations and coming together seamlessly. And because of those modular sections, there's no obstruction. You have now full access where typically we would be reaching in through the door, twist, turn in order to install parts. Now everything is right in front of you. Unicastings are very important to this architecture. We can have one large casting as one process, saving time, weight, and cost. This gives you a once in a generation opportunity to architect an entirely new platform with an entirely new powertrain and lower cost for our customer. That saw this as more than an experiment. They saw it as an opportunity to make their mark in automotive. The biggest factor that affects the cost of an electric vehicle is batteries. But reducing the size of the battery makes its way into every other part of the vehicle and allows us to make a lot of cost gains. We are going to use lithium iron phosphate batteries. They are cobalt and nickel free. It also serves as the floor, which means better ride, isolation from road noise, better handling. This really allows for a much better fun to drive experience for the customer. The battery, the drive units and everything are so much smaller that for the same size outside, you actually get more space on the inside of the vehicle. You can put the powertrain in the front or the back. So as a result, we could give the customer more legroom, more headroom, and ultimately makes a better vehicle. Developing this affordable EV architecture has been the biggest challenge of my career, but also give us the profound opportunity to really set Ford up for success in the next 120 years. They call me Sunshine and the Plant. Been employed with 30 years, second generation of Louisville assembly plant. I hired in 2019. The next products that Ford make on this platform are lower cost and better for our customer. Traditionally, it's an assembly line. This is more like an assembly tree. Everything is less wires, less travels of A to B, and then this wiring is gonna get a lot smaller. Wow. In trim, all of the parts are inside the vehicle. If we make the vehicle easier, better to build, I think it's going to help us retain employees. So the stuff you saw in the PowerPoint before exists. It's here. You can touch it. You can feel it. That is the size of the main body and wire harness. Wow. And it is not needed with a hoist to pick it up, yes. to dump it, to then move it. A lot of the trim components in the interior have undergone design optimizations to make things easier to assemble. The front clip 
when you oh, tie yes. this all up, things are right in front of you. You need to make an electrical connection right there in front of you. Wow. That's amazing. Right. When it came to the ergonomics, I've been there for 25 years and I've never seen anything like it. This is the weight of this part. Oh, that's a new one? Wow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that is good. The other part of it, too, that we've seen is the, the middle, right, which is the battery. It's a lot easier to put the seats on, huh? It's going to take so much stress off my body. I cannot wait. I never thought it could be made better, but it did. We couldn't have you guys come all the way here without seeing the truck for the first time. So why don't you come with me and we'll oh take a look. This is middle man. He goes last middle man. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> this is nice. That's awesome. So the things like the right mm -hmm. size. I think I want one. Just watch how the quality is going to be on this vehicle. We're going to be number one. It's going to impact manufacturing for years to come. The amount of innovation that I saw here today. It's going to be huge. Revolutionary.